Now we're going to import the Cyclone Register 360 project into a new database in Cyclone, um, finalize the registration and have it ready for editing. So in Cyclone, under the servers, we go right click and we say databases and we say add, we browse to where we want to create our database I then create a new folder I find if I copy this just makes my life easier to paste it back down here again and so open it now has the database and it's now ready for import we now right click on the database we say import a cycle and re register 360 project it will go and look for the register 360 databases and here we have this one here and begin the import process this generally doesn't take too long, but again, it depends on the size of the job um, as to how long this will take. For now, I'll pause. Okay, now that it's completed the import, I'll close, and you see it has generated the structure for Cyclone. We go to the unfinalized registration and double click on that. We can now see that the scans have come in. We have residuals, but the errors haven't been updated. So in registration, we need to go either registration register or registration auto update. Either one will work. I like to use the auto update. It will now perform a cloud, all the cloud to cloud registrations as well as the control registration and finalize the um, information so that it can be ready for, to be worked on. Again, this will take a short while. I will pause the video. Here you can now see the final results and the errors that have been obtained. We are now satisfied that it meets the criteria that we're looking for. So we have the four control points and we also have a cloud to cloud mesh alignment as well. Now that we're happy with that, we're going to turn around and say registration, create and freeze the scan world, then registration and create the model space, close our registration, now double click and create and open up a model space, and you will now see that we have our information plus our control plus our um, detailed points that we picked up to do some QA checks. You can see that they match where we're looking for of the information that we picked up. And you can see that that all aligns correctly, which then we are now ready to work with the actual database and clean it up and prepare it for either exporting to another package. The procedure we would follow now is to close that down and that would go up here and we say make a copy of that, go up to model spaces and paste. This will make a copy of this and we normally rename that to unified And then we can take this model space and we can go and tell it to unify the model space. Now, depending on what type of um, work that you're doing for this particular aspect, it might be a, a BIM type scenario. I would do a reduction and we can do, say, 10 mil, and we proceed with the unify process. What this process does is it takes all the three point clouds that are have been combined. It puts them into one point cloud and it removes
those duplicate points and gives you an overall single point cloud that can be utilized um, for working on. The time this will take will depend on the size of the job that you have. Right, now that that's done, we can open up the unified model space and if I zoom in here now, we can see I have some objects that I want to remove. So if I then identify by picking on the point cloud, it highlights the whole point cloud, which means that it's now a single point cloud. In this situation, I want to take this and remove the entities there. There's various ways of doing this, but if we just take a box quickly, and drag that around and we tell it to add inside the fence we can then turn around and say point cloud sub selection hide unselected and then we have the ability to either look at it in orthogonal mode using the alt button we can slow it down here it's very easy we can see this individual that we want to get rid of a box around it, use the shift I for inside. We can then go back and look at this one in more detail. And we can remove it that way. The other option is if we want, if there was traffic around or anything like that, I'll show you another tip that we would use. We can then pick the point cloud. We then turn around and right click and say region grow a smooth surface. We can make this much finer. say five mil and say start and what we do is if I hit the OK button here what it does is it identifies objects that are outside that range in this case I might have been too aggressive in, in removing that but for the example I'm just going to say OK to that and I can say delete and now it's deleted and it's removed that object what I need to do now to see the rest of the cloud is right click and say show hidden clouds and by selecting these you see the individual entities I'll shift and click on the second point to combine it create object and merge now I have a single point cloud again and we can continue working and cleaning up from there thank you